Yes, there's a baby inside. Let me show you guys what I'm looking like at 35 plus 4. So this is what our bump looks like currently. Don't be surprised if you see me wearing this often. I have three of it. One in navy blue, one in this um, peach color. The other one is in a light green color. It's the most comfortable thing ever. Like, I can't be bothered with wearing other things as stylish as they may be. I have other outfits for like church and all of that, but... Ah, guys, I'm panting. But for a regular outing and even staying at home, I just prefer to wear this because it's just comfortable, soft, mm -hmm. still fitted, sort of. Sean is here, guys. Come and see what Sean is doing. I gave him a little tripod and he's, <laughs> he's not a vlogger. <laughs> he has been battling with this old, old uh, tripod of mine. I managed to pack my hospital bag and... I did some arrangements. I'm no longer not ready. I am now ready. Like I am ready, 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 ready. Down here I still have one of the dapper bags, my breastfeeding pillow, which I haven't packed. This first drawer I just use it for like my kids' documents, bed set and all of that. I may have to take it away from there. Here I have meetings, more handkerchiefs socks and those small small items here i have zero to sean please can i talk so here i have zero to three months clothes clothes that i know will need like immediately and i also have like headbands socks set here some disposable panties for myself while down here i have more clothes but they are more like clothes we are not using immediately like a baby won't need a shoe immediately and some of them are like older clothes that i used for my two other kids why some are new like this one this one but i know that baby won't be able to wait till like four six months thereabouts in here i have like extra extra pillow okay the breast part is here i have extra pillows uh, did i say pillow like uh, there's something we call oja in yoruba that is just for backing baby then we have extra towels and breastfeeding bras extra bed sheets why down here i don't want to go down guys i'm tired Should I help? no down here guys i have diaper sorry that i'm panting so much guys i am just exhausted exhausted <laughs> I'm going to do a separate video to show you guys what I have in my hospital bag. I use this, um, we need to pack two bags, one for the labor ward, and this is what I'm using. It's actually one of the diaper bags, the bigger size. The other bag I packed things for the maternity ward. I'm going to show you guys what I packed in my hospital bag once everything is completed. Guys, I am so, so ready now. <laughs> I don't know, I'm going to cope with extra four to five weeks because I'll be having an elective CS. So I expect it to be at 39 weeks thereabouts. I'm hoping they won't take it early because, uh, guys, I won't lie, this is exhausting. So I want to go, I want to, go to Jumia office. Delivery fee has skyrocketed and I just prefer to make use of their pickup station. It just slashes the price by like half. But well, honestly, if the price difference wasn't that much, I would have preferred they drop, you know, deliver it to me because I don't want to go anywhere on a normal day. But I have to go for this one. It arrived on Monday and today's Friday, so I've been postponing it. I don't have option again now to go pick it up. 
actually i ordered some in batches the second batch i was hoping will come so that i can go at once and pick everything at once unfortunately i think some items are still not here because they haven't sent me message for pick up for like two of the items but then i have five working days so the ones that came on monday i have to go pick them up i'm taking sean along with me i wanted to take brian but he's not fine we didn't even sleep well because he was vomiting and purging throughout the night i will not stay long outside i just want to pick up this item get one or two things and i'll be back home simply because of him so yeah let's go do this guys i'm back now all the items are here except for the two that they haven't delivered see before i get to unboxing i couldn't even vlog at the supermarket i was breathless guys like i felt like i was going to faint and i don't know why because i ate before i left it just didn't make sense i sat down briefly then when i was checking out again there was no place to sit so i was basically just resting on the counter and just trying to hope that they hurry up with the checking out thankfully they did that and i just drove home straight glad i was even able to do this little work but i was paying that i didn't get all the items so i'll still go back to the warehouse um on monday or sometimes next week to pick up the remaining items let me show you guys the ones i did get most of it i have opened already to make this unboxing easier okay so let's start with this so this one's as breast mix storage packs they are supposed to be pre-sterilized but i'm wondering why it didn't come in like a pack it just came like this and in a jumia jumia box where is it okay give me a bag like this so i expected it to be in like a pack but apparently it isn't so i opened it and i checked one and i feel like it's giving what it should give it looks it looks like something really usable so yeah it's for storing breast milk when you pump breast milk put in your breast milk and put it in freezer to freeze rather than having multiple bottles next item uh, the breastfeeding bras guys i got a variant of breastfeeding bras so this looks really good it looks it looks really good guys look at it and i like the color too unfortunately it is not in my size i picked this up in size 38 i was just hoping because i didn't know what they meant by 38 there was no cup size just 38 i checked everything on the on the on the site and it was not giving me like description of what size 38 cup will look like so it goes round under my bust but then the cup is just too small when i put it on it keep the snap buttons keep opening up so easily so otherwise the texture of the fabric and everything is giving what it should give although the seams are not that neat on the inside some part of it doesn't look very neat but then i like the texture of the fabric the next item i'll be showing you is my lanolin nipple cream this i didn't get with my first or my second but like i mentioned <laughs> i must have mentioned that this time i'm trying to just look for anything that makes my life better i want to get it this i knew of right from my host okay when i was well, when i give birth not when i was pregnant and i just didn't know where to get it so hmm, breastfeeding is not easy and it comes with like cracked nipple pain and all of that at the beginning before it gets easier this one i just kind of had to get it i had an option of taking the tell me variant which was for around five something five thousand something but this is 40 mil the review on that one was saying ah, it's too small it works but it's too small so i decided to go for the 40 mil and this thing is not cheap it cost me my boy it cost me um 11 000 nera thereabouts yeah 11 000 nera so for something this little i just hope i won't have to, I, I don't think i'll have to get another one before <laughs> we are back to regular breastfeeding by god's grace so i wouldn't have gotten something like this on an e-commerce website honestly because i'm usually 
not trusting of the quality there are different vendors bringing these things well i didn't have much option i checked around i didn't get here and there was one other supermarket i saw another another nipple cream which I, i've never heard of but this one i trust this one i know i'm just hoping i'm hoping it is the authentic product if it is then we are great and this is another bra and honestly this one makes me so happy the sizing of this one says xl and i know that i wear xl um when it comes to like vest and all of that so i, I was just really trusting and hoping that it works fine guys <sighs> every best feeling mother needs this in their life i'm not even joking the fabric is breathable it's so soft on the skin it has a removable breast pad ah <sighs> I can't wait to rock this for breastfeeding because I know because of the sunny pool, the pain, the swollen boobs, because you are lactating like something else. Bras are usually uncomfortable for me, but as I wore this one, it's catching my breast. At the same time, it still has room for growth. <laughs> this is exactly what I needed and I'm so happy that it came in the size I wanted it. As I just decided to go for Excel, I was hoping and, you know, praying that excel is my size so this one i should i be telling you guys prices this one i got for six six two there about six thousand two hundred naira. i may get this in another color because i saw another color but at the same time i'm tempted to just go for this same color again so that they will give me something else other than this particular one i love the fabric i love that the strap unlike the one i showed you guys earlier the strap of this one is adjustable like a regular bra strap and it has removable breast pad that one doesn't have a breast pad although the fabric around the the nipple is slightly thick for that one so this one comes with a breast pad that you can remove the fabric oh my god i'm so happy with this it's actually my best buy in this haul i am so happy with it this one i have a story to tell so i bought a pack of breast pad tommy tp from a supermarket and it came with 40 disposable breast pad and then i saw this one online the same tommy tp and it was 48 disposable breast pad and i already knew that that first one i got will not be enough guys because breastfeeding is for a very long time so and i said okay let me get this one oh. and i told you guys earlier um i don't know if it's in a previous vlog that there are so many counterfeit products in the market so i've been avoiding them i know some of them are dupes and they are probably nice dupes they may still work but on the side guys this one said tommy tp but can you see what i have here right now this is tomna typic tomna typic guys so when i went to the market i saw a lot of these products like the pack we may make the pack of tommy tp but then it's tomna typic the same thing with avent you see avait av av everything guys in the market just absurd the fake products we have so i don't know if they are like nice dupes or not i got this one i was surprised to see that it was tomna tomna typic okay. so i took one of it and decided to check and apparently it's still a breast pad <laughs> so i'm hoping it absorbs i don't want to return it especially since i picked one up just to look at it properly i don't want to return it i'm just hoping and praying it absorbs because it looks it looks okay it looks slim but i am not sure of how much it absorbs liquid that's the only prayer i'm praying and because i'm not returning this i'm just going to keep it so yeah subsequently i know what to do but then on the site it said tommy tippy not tomna typic so this aside i'm so excited to be buying dresses guys these things i got them as temptation they are temptation because we don't even need them right now so i bought some dresses that are kind of no longer newborn stage kind of outfit i just felt we may need them later on and i don't know how things would go so i saw this at a really good price i decided to buy it the top is really nice i mean the texture of the fabric then here looks like 
nylon kind of the next one i don't know why i went for yellow again it's a skirt and a pant with a headband so this is the pants or the trouser if you want this is the trouser and this is the the top i really like the texture of the top again but then the texture of the trouser is like nylon um like satin feel and all of that again this one too is from 12 to 18 months but i know my babies most time all these things that they say 12 to 18 months once they get to like six months they are able to wear them so yeah this one comes with a headband in the picture it was really wrapped in a very nice way and i don't know how how i will wrap the headband but when we get it we'll figure it out this is the shot that comes with that and once again the texture of this fabric is great but i can't say much about this so i guess that's how they come so these pieces were really affordable and um they were kind of on promo not promo per se but i think two of them it was delivered without delivery fee free delivery i just hopped on it like i said this is a whole a whole vlog okay so i started to get this tummy wrap after cs i I usually wrap with wrapper i think i will still have to do that because i'm not sure i'll be able to use this immediately i got this in five meter but it's so long guys <laughs> it is so long it's so long it comes in five meters three meters and people that reviewed it earlier on were kind of saying they should have gone for the five meters that was why i bought this but looking at it now it's so long look at the look at the length i folded it and look at the number of layers one two three four then you have this last one guys it is so long so i have never used something like this i'm just hoping i find it comfortable i have a waist trainer which i don't even use because it is not comfortable at all you won't be able to breathe <laughs> but they say who breathes in help help me i can't come and die because i want a tiny waist i'm hoping i'll be able to use this one more comfortably so the last but not the least item i'll be showing you guys is this this so this is a seat bat bow maybe strange to you because it looks like a potty it looks like a potty but it's not a potty i don't know why i bought it in pink oh. i don't even know why i bought it in pink it comes with a flusher this is used for seat baths okay if you know what seat bath is i don't know what this flusher is doing here anyways like i said it's used for <laughs> seat bath so seat bath is what you use to um, how will i put it it's not treatment to manage things like hemorrhoid or if you have some issues with your lady area with my first two i didn't have vagina delivery but I was threatened by hemorrhoid not that i had hemorrhoid but i was threatened like it was tending towards that and that was because of the insert i was receiving ibuprofen insert they insert it into the anus just to relieve pain it works very well and i maybe i overused it i don't even know but because of that process of inserting it and having it makes the anal region tender and all that so i was having pain and discomfort so my husband recommended i do sit bath and i remember it being so uncomfortable using a regular bowl just just basically sitting down on a regular bowl big bowl apart from the threatening hemorrhoid because of the uh, catheter they put in the urinary tract it was also making that part sore and all that so i'll sit on this big bowl bending down and you know because of surgery i still had pain in my lower the lower part of my stomach it was just the most uncomfortable experience so when my husband told me that there was something like this you can just place on a, a toilet seat and sit inside I just felt I must get it and it's not expensive. I think it was 5,500 Naira on Jumia. And I feel even if I don't end up using it this time, you can keep it for future. You may have someone that needs it or God forbid, <laughs> you may need it. Yeah, you may need it. Because apart from delivery process, there was a time I was still threatened by hemorrhoid and I had to do it. But that was before I even got pregnant or so I can't remember. 
but yeah this should come in handy but i honestly don't understand this hose i feel like it will make water spill but i guess they know why they decided to put all these holes in here so yeah that's it guys with this and we are done Whew. so with this we have come to the end of this video enough of the haul and haul and haul and haul the two items i haven't received are the nipple shield and also what was what's that again okay yeah the baby carrier that i place an order for so i don't have my baby carrier yet i used to have one old baby carrier but i don't know where it is and i remember it not being comfortable i said online and people recommend the particular one i got i think you're going to see it probably when baby comes because this will be the end of this video guys so and also some little items i haven't gotten that like soap toothpaste toothbrush for my okay i bought toothbrush i have not packed those ones you know like beverages i haven't packed those ones so aside from that i think i'm pretty much ready to pack my bag and go and my body is over ready if you understand what i mean but yeah we still want little one to stay there till it is actually time i'm looking at 39 weeks by god's grace i'm hoping they don't push it beyond that because hmm this pregnancy has shown me shaggy shaggy i've never had a third trimester this tough which has never happened this one everything is is not going well i have indigestion i have i'm belching like every two two minutes i'm having heartburn every other day this is the first time i'm actually having to take medication for heartburn because terrible 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 heartburn then pelvic ghetto pain i can't walk well I can't turn in bed normally. I, normally, turning in bed would be challenging at this time, but with pelvic ghetto pain, it is a huge task, guys. I am just like done, done, tired, breathless all the time. <sighs> I'm planning to maybe like start walking a little bit, maybe to help with that breathlessness because it is bad. Like now, I am okay. But like in the morning when I started this part of this vlog, I don't know what happened. And even at the supermarket, I almost fainted. I was breathing and breathing and all that. So it just comes and goes like that. Sometimes I feel better. Sometimes it is worse. So guys, all of these things are making me... I can't enjoy food, guys. I don't enjoy food. Like, <sighs> I have to eat because my body will be shaking if I don't. But then the taste of the food, I can't appreciate it as such. And this one has even been throughout this pregnancy. So imagine doing eight, nine months of bland, blandness on your tongue. It's horrible. I can't wait to like enjoy juice, take sweet. <laughs> See me calling those things because anything sweet is a no-no for me right now. So I can't wait to just settle down and take a drink, you know, or eat my regular food and actually enjoy the, the taste of it you get what i mean so girl is done girl is done thank god it is closer than ever now i don't know how i got to this stage glory be to god so well that will be the end of this video thank you so so much for watching keep up with the other videos yeah we, st we still have some videos coming up <laughs> before baby comes eventually i just pray god continues to strengthen me I'm really trusting him. So this time is just for me to relax, read, watch movies. I'm not going to work again and really just prepare myself for the arrival of baby. Bye guys. See you in the next video.